start of the day for us here in Curaçao. We had to get up at 6.30 because today we're going to be doing an awesome boat tour. But the boat tour is on the opposite side of the island to where we're staying. We're staying in uh, West Point and we've got to head to a place called Yantil and that's where the, the boat will leave. And that's about 45 minutes away, 50 minutes driving. So yeah, that's why we had to get up pretty early because the boat's going to leave around 8.30. I think we've got to be there around 8.15. And the place we're going is called Klein Curaçao, which means small Curaçao. So it's a little island just below the main island of Curaçao. And we're going to be doing the tour with a company called Bluefin Charters. And it's 120 per person. And that's with a meal and I think like snorkel equipment included. And it's also open bar. So there's other companies that will do it for pretty much the same price but they won't have the open bar included. So obviously it's better to do it with this company that has um, yeah, more included in the, in the same price. And they also have other tours around the island like uh, sunset tours, different boat tours. So I'll link their information in the description below. So we've arrived in Yantil. This spot here is called Zanzibar. So it seems to be some kind of like beach restaurant. And we're just waiting here for the boat. Ah, perfect timing. There it is, the catamaran. Got a yoga class going on here. first one's on the catamaran and I think it's the biggest catamaran we've ever been on. We've got the cool nets there to lie down on when we're cruising. I think it is the biggest one, right? Yeah, it's very, very big. <laughs> and you saw how long is the tour? Uh, I think it can take one hour and 45 minutes, but it depends on the, the ocean. Yeah, that's to arrive there. Yeah, to arrive there. Okay, so that's quite a long ride, right? Yeah. Yeah, long cruise. And we'll start introducing ourselves. On the dock, we've got Miss MJ. Yeah, it's a bar, we've got Miss Jade. here on clean Curaçao so you can either get the boat or just swim to the beach so we're gonna swim We got absolutely soaked on that boat trip. The whole boat did. <laughs> so yeah, keep that in mind. It's a good job we brought the wet bag. You can store your bags in like dry places though, so it's not too bad. And look at this for an amazing beach. It's completely cloudy at the moment, no sun at all, but even without the sun, it looks like that. So you know it's an amazing beach. So the water all the way around is that color. I'm surprised it looks that good, even with all the clouds. Awesome. I think there's probably just around like five or six other tours so it's not busy at all it's like a big empty beach So there's pretty much zero development on this um, island. There's no like buildings or anything. The only thing you'll get is these like little wooden huts. They look abandoned though. I don't even think they're really used for anything. 
and yeah that's about it there are a few umbrellas i think each uh, boat tour takes you to different areas so yeah these guys here have like some beds and stuff Yeah, imagine how it would look in the sun. Yeah, if it's already blue like this, the sun will be like wow. Yeah. So there's supposed to be some really cool old lighthouse here and also some shipwrecks. And we were going to head there now, but the problem is we've got to eat in about 40 minutes. So I think we'll eat first and then we'll head there. I can actually see the tip of the lighthouse. It's just over here. So yeah, not much walking at all. But since we come to this pier, I think we're going to do some pier jumping. Pier <laughs> jumping, yeah. Yeah, might as well. Jump into the beautiful water. Okay, what you're gonna do? Luck, luck. Okay, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> you're back. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, I can, I can tell you. I'll jump the snow from now on. Yeah, don't try to do the front flip or whatever. back on the boat having lunch they only had meat so I got this like beans chickpeas sweet corn salad and bread and Cal just got the uh, pretty much the same but with pesto pasta which I can't eat because I'm allergic to nuts so yeah I just got loads of salad and loads of bread so we're going to check out the lighthouse and the shipwrecks now. So you can probably see here, it is super dry here, just like a lot of the areas of Curaçao. You only have a few little like bushes and stuff like this, but for the most part, the island's pretty much dead. And from what I read, when the Dutch first came here, this was actually like all super green, like full of plants and trees and stuff. But then they used the island for mining for phosphate. So that ended up destroying a lot of the nature and then it also said that goats and um, feral cats used to roam free here and I guess them eating the plants and stuff also added to the deforestation so yeah that's why it looks like this now but I think they are trying to grow it back but yeah by the looks from what we're seeing it is still pretty dead looking. Well, so the abandoned lighthouse is way bigger than I thought it would be. It's not just the tower, there's like a big building alongside it. Oh cool, you can go inside as well. <laughs> oh, so it is like ruins. Like little tunnels in here. Pretty cool how it's open to explore. Yeah. The ruins of a lighthouse. What's that noise? Oh, look at that girl.
this is the proper entrance so this is how it looks from the front so from what i read yesterday that's from the 1800s they made an original one also in the 1800s but it was destroyed in um in a storm i think and i think that was in 1877 and then a few years later they rebuilt it and now yeah this is the one so it looks like you can even go up the tower i'm not sure if you can make it all the way but yeah we'll try to this is like the second floor here all right we're going up the sketchy tower scared carol yeah i mean it is falling to pieces but yeah it's still open to go up hopefully the stairs are okay We made it. This is the end. Yeah, this is the end. Oh. <laughs> oh, you can't go up there. You get some views from here. So that's where we were over there. Look at the island though, like I said. There's really nothing here at all. It's just all flat and pretty dead. Long way down. And then on this side, that is the main shipwreck there, so that's where we're going to head to right now to check it out. It looks pretty big. Time to leave the creepy lighthouse. Be a good setting for a, a horror film or something. <laughs> it was very creepy. And this is the shipwreck site. So this is just a small part of it that's still upright. But if you look around, all these big pieces of metal here, all the way down there are all the ships. So I think at one time, yeah, the entirety of the ship was here. But then with time with the ocean just bashing it yeah it keeps breaking down so now this is all that remains it goes all the way down there metal pieces yeah yeah it seems to be a, a very big ship yeah i think it's a tanker from what i read oh, okay. the sites were all in dutch so i couldn't find out the history but so i'll give you a better view of it from here so like i said i don't know how long it's been here but by the looks of it many decades that thing is rusty as hell this just adds to the creepiness of the island. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's really beautiful. And if you just stay on the beach, it's going to be like perfect. But if you come to, to the inside, it's like a creepy vibe. Yeah, creepy vibes. So it turns out that's not the only shipwreck around here. Well, this isn't a ship, but it's a boat wreck. So maybe there's a few um, boats and ships around here, like a, a graveyard. Don't know what the history of this one is as well. Pretty big boat. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, this one's definitely more recent. Wow. Take a look inside even. Yeah, I'm guessing the ocean on this side must be like really hardcore or something. Yeah, maybe that's why there are two, or, well, at least two. That's, yeah, I'm pretty sure there must be more. The island's pretty big, so I'm sure if you just keep walking all the way down there, you'll find more things. Bizarre though.
gonna do some snorkeling now there are some big turtles out there when we were having lunch we saw them pass by like three so uh, yeah hopefully we get lucky and see them when we do our snorkeling but they are definitely around there around the boat ready for some snorkeling snorkeling part two yeah. with us out Hopefully you can hear me, I don't have the wind cover on my GoPro right now and yeah it is pretty windy. Snorkeling was pretty good unfortunately we didn't see any turtles. When we saw them before they didn't really hang around the boat, they were just passing through very quickly. So I guess you just have to be lucky with the timing. But still loads of fish hanging out in the shade below the boat so yeah it's pretty good. Just tired now, we were snorkeling for quite a while. I think we get to hang out here for like 30 more minutes and uh, yeah then we'll be on our way back. I think the creepy parts actually made it more interesting as well. Yeah because we have more things to see and to do, not just the beach. But uh, I guess some people just stayed here like uh, some bathing, they didn't go there. But if you want you have the two options to go there and then to just chill at the beach. Yeah a lot of people who stayed out here frying. A lot of lobsters. <laughs> European. European lobsters. <laughs> <laughs> back in West Point near where we're staying and we just came to a restaurant here it's called Playa Forti restaurant and we came for the sunset so I don't know if we're gonna get much of a sunset because it's been cloudy all day but what we do get is an amazing view so that is Playa Forti over there we hadn't actually seen this beach so yeah you get a really nice view overlooking the beach and this is the, the main restaurant area but they didn't have any tables with a view so we asked if we could sit out here and they said yeah and yeah I'm, I'm more than happy with this place great spot to end our Curacao trip and I'm not sure what we're gonna get probably just fish like we always get they do have veggie and vegan stuff this is all in guilder so yeah it seems around like 22 guilder 21 guilder and they have fish fillets that's 35 guilder tuna steak I might go for that for 35 gilder. so 40 overall and kind of got the same just with fries and that's also 40 and you got a nice fruity drink there what what is that oh i forgot the name is the special of the day but i forgot the name of the drink uh, okay is it good though yeah it's good and how much was that uh 9.50 gilded. gilded okay wow look at this guy though absolutely mental 
just gets better and better with time. So it's the next morning now. We've just been packing up, getting ready to leave. Got to head to the airport soon because we're going to be heading to Aruba, which is like the little sister island, I guess, of Curaçao right nearby. I think it's only like a 30 minute flight. So yeah, super close. And we've absolutely loved our eight days here in Curaçao. Every single day has just been awesome. We've loved traveling the island and we usually don't come to islands like this small. so. Yeah, it's pretty cool that you don't have to spend much time traveling around. You just drive like five minutes and there's already like a new attraction, a new beach and stuff. And yeah, the beaches were just incredible. Definitely the perfect spot if you just want like a real laid back Caribbean holiday. Cause here is like super laid back, no stress at all. It is expensive. It's more expensive than any other island we've been to so far in the Caribbean. But at the same time, you, you're guaranteed no stress. And yeah, the beaches are some of the best we've ever seen. And there's so many of them that level. So yeah, it's just a beautiful place. And for us, it was also easy because we came with US dollar and everywhere you go here, supermarkets, markets, you can pay in dollar, absolutely everything. So that made it a lot easier. And also everybody speaks English here. In fact, a lot of the people here speak about like five languages. The main three are Dutch, English, and their local language, Papiamento. But the majority do also speak like Portuguese, Spanish, and I think even a bit of French. It's pretty crazy, they just speak all the languages. So obviously it being an English speaking country, that also makes it even, even easier to travel. And besides that also the culture and history of the country is very interesting. Also once again, different to the other Caribbean countries we went to because of its Dutch past. So we'll see how Aruba is compared to this place. I imagine it's gonna be quite similar, but yeah, we'll find out soon enough. As always, if you like this video and this series in Curaçao, drop a like to support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this and from Aruba right now. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.